Hey everybody, it's Evan with Santa Cruz Subaru. Today we're going to talk about CarPlay. So, uh, Apple just came out with our iOS 17 update and it had some uh, pretty nice upgrades to CarPlay. What a lot of people don't realize is CarPlay is not really inside your car, it's really on your phone. So if you change your phone, you update your phone, you're going to change CarPlay. And we're going to show you the updates, and uh, I'm pretty excited about them. I apologize for the terribleness of these videos, but uh, my gimbal broke, so I'm kind of doing everything uh, by hand, so the videos are a little poor quality this time. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first change is uh, a nice one. Um, they made the icons for texting just a little bit bigger. Old version up on the left, new version up on the right. So if you say text and say someone's name, uh, the icons are going to pop up here in a second. And as you can see on the right side, uh, the icons are bigger, a lot clearer. And then uh, another small change is in the background. We'll go over that in a second. All right. So another new change is it's a very subtle one and actually one that I wasn't even aware of that you could do until recently. Uh, they tweaked the backgrounds a little bit. Uh, so really easy. Uh, you know, I have my black background. Uh, when you uh, originally hook up CarPlay, it's a very different background than you're seeing on my car. But to change it, all we do is go into settings and you go into wallpapers. You know, wallpapers, backgrounds, the same thing. Hit wallpapers and here's all the new backgrounds. I believe this is the guy that uh, pops up when you, uh, most of you probably have on your CarPlay. Um, but you can scroll down and change it. Um, you know, there's just very, very minor differences. Uh, so the next one's in the, another very subtle one, but one that I, I personally like. Again, we're going to go through here to go to settings. Um, and then this one, you're going to go to Siri and suggestions and show apps behind Siri. So I'll show you on one screen what it looked like before and another screen what it looks like with it enabled. But I think it's very beneficial, especially if you're using the, uh, the sat nav for uh, on CarPlay. All you do enable it is just turn it on and there it is. And then we'll show you uh, what they look like side by side. Here we are side by side, old version on the left, new version on the right. See the old version, everything goes blurry. New version keeps the picture nice and clear. A uh, subtle change, but something that I think is really awesome. Uh, another update that they did is something called Crossfade. Uh, I've been told that uh, other music apps have this, have had this for a little while, but Apple finally gave it to us on Apple Music. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do the settings on uh, from your car. You're going to have to do it on your phone. So I'm going to put up a screen to show you how to do Crossfade. Basically what it does, it kind of seamlessly transitions from one song to the other by fading away and fading the new song in. We'll show you how to enable it. So to enable Crossfade, you just have to go into your settings, scroll down, and scroll all the way down. You can define music. And scroll down a little bit more and enable crossfade. I believe the default is four seconds, but you can adjust it to however long that you want to adjust it for. So another update that I was told about that, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get to work. Um, as we all know, our phones have a certain name and you can activate uh, the voice assistant by saying, hey, and then the name of the the voice assistant, I don't want to say the name because I don't want to activate everybody's phone or my phone. But uh, from what I've been told with the iOS 17, you no longer have to say, hey, the name. You just say the name and it's going to work. Again, I haven't been able to get that to work on my phone, but they say it's part of the update. So the next one is something called SharePlay. It's one that I'm really excited about. Other music apps have had this for a long time and Apple Music finally gave it to us. So SharePlay allows your passengers to share and connect your connection and control the music in the car from their phone while you're connected. It's very easy to set up. You just gotta be in Apple Music. You're gonna press the now playing button and then you'll notice a new icon appeared right there. You're gonna push that icon. A QR code's gonna pop up. Your passengers are gonna scan the QR code, go through the steps, then you need to accept their request. Once this is done, your passengers can control the music while you are connected All to CarPlay. Right, so the last update and probably my favorite one is offline maps. It's another one that um, I've been told that other navigation systems, other phones, 
have been offering for quite a while, but at least we have it now on Apple. Uh, in Santa Cruz, we get a lot of people who live in the mountains, you know, don't get a good signal, and you will now be able to use offline Apple Maps. So that's the newest updates for iOS 17 with CarPlay. Thanks for watching.